Thank you for joining us at 10. I'm Pepper Baker. Food insecurity is an issue that affects so many Americans, and it is no different here in the Mid-South. And there are many reasons for it, from poverty to joblessness. And that's why the government provides the food stamp program, to help the most vulnerable families get the nutrition they need. Now, there's about 180,000 food stamp recipients in Shelby County, but many of them told us they haven't received food stamps in months. Our Kevin McNamara is seeking solutions tonight, and Kevin, why aren't they getting their food stamps? Yeah, that's right, Pepper. Felicia DeMello was one of many who were going without food stamps. Shortly after we introduced you to her at the beginning of the month, state lawmakers found a way to fix her problem. Tonight, there are more people who are not getting the help they need. Now, this is an issue that dates back to last summer. That's when food stamp recipients started complaining about major breakdowns, with some going months without getting any stamps. Now, officials say they fixed the issue, which was a switch of their software. However, many people are still struggling to get what they're eligible for. They need to come up with a solution. Before they changed over, they should have had a plan B. 67-year-old Gwendolyn Dodson depends on food stamps. Like others in the Mid-South, she too says that since last summer, the food stamp program has been failing her. They tell you they're going to call for an interview. They never call. They send you out uh, letters stating that you will receive this and that on the next month. It never happens. And, you know, it's just frustrating. Tennessee Department of Human Services blames the issue on a software change that has been resolved. But relief can't come fast enough for those whose cases are stuck in the backlog. Well, what are we supposed to do until March? I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. I thought the, uh, the way they were doing at first was fine. Dodson has numerous health issues that make it difficult for her to get down to the food stamp offices. This makes the communication breakdowns particularly challenging. No, I'm just giving it to God. That's all I can do. I mean, I pray and hope that they get their system together, you know, because there's people out here that are really desperate and really need it. The food stamp program is administered at the state level in the U.S., but it's federally funded. I have reached out to Mid-South U.S. Congressman Steve Cohen on this issue, and we will continue to press those in power until there is some relief. Pepper? Hopefully he gets back to you soon, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs>